as I told you when, when I opened the show, last week we did an ask and we said if one of, we wanted one, our viewers, anyone, to send in an email and say who they thought was the most senior or the less senior of the three of us. And in return, we would invite you to the show so that you could say your poem, the last poem of April for National Poetry Month. And we had someone who called in and we are so happy that they're here. So I'm gonna give it to Bobby. Bobby, you can take it away. Thank you, Alvin. It just so happens that the first person to respond to our request was a very good friend of mine and like a little brother of mine, actually. His name is Gregory Booth. Gregory is a great young man who is one of his greatest skills. I mean, he's got a lot of qualities that, that endear him to my heart. But he is a former chef also who uh, owned his own business. Um, he, he's just a really, really great guy. And most importantly, he is a faithful listener and faithful watcher of He Said, He Said, He Said. Right. And so when he reached out and then I said, I share it with the fellas here on the show that uh, one of my friends had reached out with a guest about uh, who was the oldest and the youngest of the three of us. And Alvin was like, let's get him on the show. And so I said, let's, let me, let me reach out to him. And so I did. And he was happy to join us. He's here with us this evening and he's going to be able to offer first his guest and then his poem. So without further ado, it is my pleasure, my honor to introduce to the, he said, he said, he said audience, my friend, my brother, Gregory Booth. Welcome. Hey, Gregory. Gregory. Hey, hey, guys. Look at Alvin. Gregory. <laughs> yes. well, thank you guys so much for the invitation. Alvin, it's great to meet you finally. Vash, thank great you. to meet you. Bobby, great to meet you. We'll deal with that later. So, so this, well, the stage is yours, Gregory. Oh, I'm sorry, so, Bobby. You go ahead because you know I. I, I, I know, know. No, 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 no. I, I like when I like when my elders. I'm not speaking quiet when my elders. <laughs> <laughs> my mother taught me to be quiet while my elders are speaking. So you I'm are sorry. not going to mislead him by just saying that. <laughs> that was not a mislead, Gregory. <laughs> take it away. This and last conversation had me in tears, and now I don't. What I submitted to Bobby originally of who I thought was the eldest and the youngest, um, now I, I don't know. I'm just all over the place. So, well, you have to guess now that you're on the show. <laughs> now I'm gonna guess. This is this is my guess based off of watching you all for so long, and then this last conversation. I would say that the oldest, and please forgive me. This most season, <laughs> mo most season, please most season, most, <laughs> most season is. I'm gonna say Vash. Uh, it is Vosh, and it's. Vosh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just and then <laughs> say Bobby, and then Alvin. What? 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 What is your address? What is your address? He's a what? Dog. <laughs> what? What is your address? Okay, I will fly there and bring you flowers. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> I knew if I wore this bare shirt that it would throw him off, right? Um, no, I'm going to, Gregory, if, uh, would you do the honors, Bobby, or should I do the honors? Oh, please, go right okay. ahead. I am the most senior, and, and you know, this is different. I'm going to say Bobby is the second, and then it's Vosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm the baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> don't, 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 but, but, but still, still, you can come back on the show anytime because we do a series called Aging While Black and we really want you on here. Okay. And you all look great. You all look amazing. Thank you. Thank what? you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, you, you maintained our friendship by putting me right in the middle. So you were right where you were supposed to be. I knew what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I'm suing. <laughs> as soon as the Supreme Court's done with Trump, I'm going in. Well, I was just like, I will see you in court. Yes. Get him. Well, thank you. Thank you for playing playing our little game with us. That was really off the cuff last week, and you you answered the, the ask, and so we appreciate it. So yeah. we're going to turn it over to you, and you can uh, tell us why you chose this poem, and stage Take is yours. Place. 
Sure. Well, thank you guys. Um, so I chose the poem on aging by Maya Angelou. I thought that it was kind of fitting, appropriate for this this conversation. Uh, also, I have um, I take care of my aging parents, so I do a lot of work for them. Uh, so it kind of touches home, touches or resonates in a part of me um, because I'm also getting older, and I notice that I can't do the things that I used to be able to do, you know, as easily. Um, and then taking care of them and watching, you know, them deteriorate physically. So I thought this was kind of appropriate for the, uh, for the time. So On Aging by Maya Angelou. When you see me sitting quietly like a sack left on the shelf, don't think I need your chattering. I'm listening to myself. Hold. Stop. Don't pity me. Hold. Stop your sympathy. Understanding if you got it. Otherwise, I'll do it. Do without it. When my bones are stiff and aching and my feet won't climb the stair, I will only ask one favor. Don't bring me no rocking chair. When you see me walking, stumbling, don't study and get it wrong because tired don't mean lazy and everybody and every goodbye ain't gone. I'm the same person I was back then. A little less hair, a little less chin, a lot less lungs and much less wind. But ain't I lucky I can still breathe in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what this show is all about. Come on okay. now. All right, Gregory, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you in so many ways. You have no idea how appreciative I am that you, you've joined the show. Damn, I got choked up. I'm sorry, hold on a second. Yeah, and Gregory, I am <laughs> really sad that your eyes are the first thing to leave. <laughs> Blindness is sinking in. Okay. So sad <laughs> for you. <laughs> you know what? It was the beard for me. You had me with the beard. You had me with the beard. I thought that was such a sexy look for you. Oh. And you were giving me 41 years old. And then you cut it. And I was just, Go back, go back to sexy. <laughs> That's, all he That's all he needed to hear. I'm probably not even so body. I said, he was really good with that beater. He did. And I was like, please. Not in my number. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our new episode. Meet a date. Um, because trust me, after you said sexy, all anything else that Vaj heard was like wah 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 wah. wah. <laughs> Gregory, thank you for joining us. Please don't go away. We want to bring you back for our closing, if, if you can. And if you can't, we understand. But this means a lot. And so now you're part of our family. So thank you for joining us tonight. Thank, thank you. you guys for the opportunity. Thank you. Thanks, and guys. the support. I appreciate it. Oh, and Bobby can get your address because you're getting a he said, he said cup. I can't tell you. Every time I see you guys take a sip, I keep saying, I wish they had that on Amazon because I would get one. <laughs> So it thank is, you. It's coming your way. It's coming thank your you. way. 